pictures like that very easily in like 10 seconds no actually like 10 minutes but not that hard this one's for my soca uh, me, me and my friend's site for soca um I made this one in like five minutes um first what you want to get is uh, GIMP say image editing software program you can get it from Google just Google search GIMP which is G I M P open it up and go to file dialogues layers leave that there and then go to file open I don't know file new I'm gonna go with about 600 by 150 that's a small banner um, so let's get started on the background first we're gonna go and pick our gradient tool and select difference down here go like all the way down and it's like the eighth one up difference change the gradient to abstract one two or three click and drag and it makes the lines um, you can experiment with that. Mm -hmm. You can go to the shape. You can experiment with that. You can go to the linear and you can go to radial and you can make a little circle. You can do conical and you can. It makes the. Um, yeah. And you can experiment with the other ones like spirals, stuff like that. But. You could leave it those colors, or like I did, see how I made it all red. You could go to change the difference all the way to the bottom, this hue. Um, change the shape to linear. And then you can click and drag, and it changes the whole thing to red. Or you can go the other way. And it changes the whole thing to blue. <coughs> um, oops. Or you could pick a different gradient. This one would make it green. This one could make it red and blue. This one would make it blue and yellow. This one would make it light blue. Just look at the edges of the thing. You could use Of your gradient right and you like your um, background, go to google.com. Find a picture that you want. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to find one of those. Um, you can pick one of them. Um, <clears throat> Probably this one. Or maybe not. This one. Save the picture. I already have that one saved, I think, right here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, save it to your desktop. And then go to File Open and open that file. And open that picture. Once it comes up, don't push anything. First, push Control C. Then go to here and push Control V. And the picture should show up. You can move it to the side or wherever. And you can use the scale tool. And you can change the size to whatever you want. I'm going to stick with that. Pretty good size. Um, go back to that layers thing that I had you open up in the beginning and right click on it and hit new layer. And then right click on it again and hit add layer mask and hit add. Now 
right click on your brush tool and if you, as you can see wherever I paint with this the background shows up the background of the picture so this is what you're going to do you're going to have to zoom in and just cut around it and you can also use this make it bigger and smaller I'm going to pause it while I cut this out so that it's not too long of a video but this is what I'll be doing I'll be zoomed in and I'll be cutting it out you don't have to get specifically all of it because we're going to do something else in the end to make it look better but I'm going to pause it and I'll unpause it when I'm all done so yeah so there it is completed Something's messed up about it. Well, I gotta fix my settings or something because something is making it mess up. But. Um, see, it kind of looks pretty weird from back 100%. So, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your layers, make sure you're on this one. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And choose a Gaussian layer of about five, maybe four or three. Hit OK. And there we go, it blurs it right in. So, <coughs> they have a picture in there. Then you can add in other pictures and then save it. Go to, f uh, to save it. You save it and open it in Paint to add the text. Um, to save it, put it on your desktop or here, select um, PNG image and then name it like something. P make sure you do the dot PNG. Hit save. Confirm. Export. Save. And then your desktop should be. picture and no putting paint put in the text save it there you go so yeah hope you like the tutorial and have fun making other pictures if you need any help private message me email me to get my email or private message me go to skylocknation.com um peace